Hi everyone and welcome back uh, to the Floss Marketing School. In this uh, video, I'm just gonna explain you how you can uh, create a tree for brochure in uh, in Inkscape. And so the idea is uh, to have a document such as this one, which is divided in three columns, in which you can put the different elements, and then uh, that you can print, in fact, uh, both uh, both sided. Um, so in fact, it's it's not that difficult. Uh, the only thing that uh, that you need to have is, of course, the uh, Inkscape. And once you have Inkscape uh, set on, then just go on File, then just click on Document Properties, and then within the Document Property, you just need to set it in in landscape, and then to do a little bit of uh, mathematics in order to organize the different columns. So here is the uh, landscape uh, format that we got of our Inkscape, and then uh, you need to put your margin in order to know uh, when it's the first column or the second one. Uh, so here I'm going to just put my my two line. Uh, like this and like this in order to get uh, the column the, the right way and then I just need to double click over here and just to divide of course uh, the amount of my page into uh, three parts in my case gonna be just uh, 99 and then here it's gonna be uh, 198 okay so now as I got my, uh, my three columns, I can easily, in fact, uh, design whatever I want. So in order to get inspired and to get a nice design, well, honestly, the best thing that you can do is just browse on the internet by typing out uh, keywords such as three for brochure in order to see, in fact, brochure which inspire you. Because at the end of the day, uh, what you would like to get is those, those nice uh, shape on your brochure in order to have something which is uh, really stylish and then of course uh, you need to add the different icons, uh, logos and different contents according to uh, the color scheme of uh, your organization and that's uh, mostly uh, what you need to do in order to get your, your document finalized. So in order to design the shape uh, you can use in fact uh, the following um, feature of uh, Inkscape which is the uh, busy curve in order to uh, just draft the different uh, line that you like uh, that you would like to get. So for example, let's uh, let's design something like like this, uh, like like this. Oops. And then uh, once it's done, you can just select uh, the, the color of your choice. Uh, let's do something which is uh, okay, like like this. And then of course uh, you can adjust, in fact, the, the different uh, the different paths according to, to what you would like uh, you would like to get in order to get something which is a little bit more uh, more beautiful and then you're gonna play uh, with of course the different uh, block of text that you can uh, that you can insert uh, on on the page um, and make and make your title uh, accordingly uh, then uh, you're gonna use of course uh, this uh, given feature of um, of um, <coughs> Of, uh, Inkscape in order to uh, place the different element according to uh, what, what you want. So you can just select, for example, here the two elements and then uh, decide to place uh, one against uh, against the other. And this is how uh, you can get, in fact, your element placed properly on the page. Uh, then you're going to play with the with the layers in order to have uh, more flexibility over the different element that you would like to move uh, here and there. And uh, that's uh, that's mostly uh, what you need to do. And then, of course, when you do the first side, then you go uh, for the second side and you do it, and then you can uh, go and print it. So in my case, it's not like uh, uh, super sexy what I did, but uh, what you can see here is that I get my three uh, columns. So just to let you know, it's in a threefold uh, document. Uh, this part's gonna be the first page that people are gonna see. I mean, the first column that people are gonna see. Then this one's gonna be the fifth one, and this one's gonna be the sixth one. And um, and when they open, this is the uh, second column, this is the third column, and this is the fourth column. So just take those uh, into consideration when you will uh, design, in fact, your uh, your threefold um, brochure. And then uh, as end uh, result, if I uh, move back as a as a camera, uh, that's that's the end result. So you get your threefold, and then when you open uh, your threefold, you get the different information of uh, your threefold like this. And then you can add the different element that you want in order for people to to get on your uh, to get on your on your website, such as the the vanity URL or any additional things. I hope uh, that you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.